Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Rebel Free. In this video, I'm going to explain about the S MIME protocol in the subject of cryptography and network security. So before explaining you what is S MIME, I have to tell you what is the full form of it. it is security MIME protocol. Before that, I'll explain you what is MIME protocol, and then let's move on to S MIME. Okay. So before that, uh, I have also started a new channel about study abroad content. If you're having interest to look at uh, study abroad videos i'll give the link of the channel in the description you can have a look so let's get into the video now so what is mime protocol multi-purpose internet mail extension the full form of mime is multi-purpose i is internet m is mail e is extension so it is a multi-purpose internet mail extension protocol okay so why we use this MIME protocol is previously emails could be sent only in nvt 7-bit ascii format that is only the emails which are in this NVT 7 bit ASCII format, you will be able to send only those kind of emails when previously, like uh, other formats like audio, video, images, etc., they could not be sent. Okay, so for that reason, the uh, MIME protocol was introduced. Okay, so MIME protocol is nothing but it is an add on which will allow us to transfer non ASCII data over mail. Non ASCII data is nothing but this audio video images these kind of data also you can transfer it through email with the help of this mime protocol so before this mime protocol we were not able to transfer this this these kind of data over the email but with the introduction of mime protocol we are able to transfer this data the, the audio video images kind of data over the emails okay got it so that is why we use mime protocol it is an add-on that is an additional feature to the email through which we can be sending the non ascii data as well okay so this is about the mime protocol now then what is s mime actually our topic is s mime not mime but uh, i have to give you an idea of what mime is right so that is why i told you so in s mime is nothing but secure mime it will be encrypting the emails and providing the security so in normal mime protocol we don't have the encryption decryption therefore no security but here we have encryption and decryption that is why it provides security to our email and you can also say this is an extension to mime protocol it is an extension to MIME protocol. It encrypts the emails and provides the security. Okay. And it will also allow you to digitally sign on your email. And also it uses asymmetric key cryptography. Asymmetric key cryptography is nothing but two different types of keys will be used for encryption and decryption. Okay. So this is about the uh, secure MIME protocol. So in secure MIME protocol, so what are the functions that it will provide? That is what are the, uh, yeah we will be seeing what are the functions provided by this and also we will be seeing what are the services provided by the SMIME. So first looking at the functions of the MIME protocol, first one is authentication. Authentication you already know, that is you can send data only to the authenticated users or the authenticated send, um, send uh, sorry, yeah, senders, receivers, whatever it is. Next is message integrity. You also know what is message integrity, right? That is uh, the message has not, should not be changed. That is if you are sending hello, then on the receiver's end also it should reach as hello only the message should not be changed non-repudiation is once you send the data you cannot deny that so if you have sent a message saying hi then you cannot say that i did not send any message you have sent then you need to accept it you cannot deny the message okay so after that we have privacy you know what is privacy and also data security so these are the functions of uh, SMIME and next is the services of SMIME. In the services of SMIME, we have digital signature and message encryption. So you already know what is digital signature. I've explained about it in a very separate video. Uh, in even message encryption also, you know about it. I explained about message encryption also in a separate video. So there is nothing new that I have to explain you about the SMIME. So if you get it uh, for a short answer answer type then this will be enough but if you get it for long answer for 10 marks or for 14 marks uh, then what you'll do is about each and everything you have to explain that is authentication side heading 
you need to explain about authentication message integrity side heading what is message integrity non repudiation what is non repudiation like that you need to explain about each and everything and you also know what is digital signature and message encryption right so digital signature will take one page message encryption will take one page so if you are getting it for long answer you have to explain about each and everything if you are getting for short answer you can stop it here okay so this is about the uh, s mime protocol so i hope this video help you and if you are having any doubts just let me know in the comment section let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic till then if you are still having any doubts let me know in the comment section and also as i already said i'll give my instagram details in the description you can contact me through my instagram id thanks for watching the video till the end